Obviously, it's a dice game. You gotta go for a specific set of figures. You only get so many rolls to be able to fill all the slots. High score wins. Right now, I'm losing. I'm one of those people that took a long time finally coming to terms with my sexual orientation. I was raised in a fundamentalist pastor's home where we were Christian and conservative, both with a capital C. And so the last thing in the world you could be was gay. So I, I did all the things that you were supposed to do, even to the point of marrying and having kids and, and spent 20 years of, of my life trying to avoid being gay. You know, if, if God wanted me to be something else, he would have made me something else. It made such a difference finally to be able to embrace that uh, and, and recognize that once I was finally comfortable with me, then everybody else was able to be comfortable with me too. I cannot believe it. Come on, give me sixes. Well, finally, I got three of a kind. But good deal. We are pretty competitive. He's more competitive than I am. No, you're just quieter about it. <laughs> John and I have been partners for 13 years. We just had a, a lot in common. Initially, we both came from a music background. Um, both um, had spent time in the ministry. You know, conversation was easy for us. We worked together. We played together. We lived together. He's my best friend, you know. I would rather spend time with him than anybody else in the world. Back in 2001, I started having some difficulty and thought, well, maybe, maybe I need to get some antibiotics. Went to the doctor's office there to, to, to try and, and get some answers, only to find out that I had advanced prostate cancer. And it was at a stage that it was already beyond treatable. Uh, or curable at least. So at this point it was just a matter of trying to find ways to slow down the, the progress. It's meant that I've had to go through chemotherapy and radiation and been pretty much in treatment more than out of treatment. On a daily basis I worry about John. I find myself watching him at night sometimes. When he's asleep he doesn't know I do this. Just to make sure he's still breathing. We're fortunate that He's outlived what all the doctors expected him to. If we were able to be married, it would change the, the equation in a lot of ways in terms of some of the benefits and the protections that are there. Social Security, Medicare, those things, uh, I have those protections, but when, when I pass, none of those things can be passed on to Robert. All the inheritance laws are there to protect a married couple where there are no protections for someone in the same-sex relationship. All right, mm -mm. give me Yahtzee. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> My gosh, who could ask for anything more than what, what I have? You know, I'm not excited about the cancer, but if I have to have cancer to be able to enjoy the, the relationship we have, I'd take it in a heartbeat. I just would not have wanted to miss out on this under any circumstance.